in a desert flyer's nest on an infested platform hanging in low orbit. We take that down, we'll own the air. Hell, if this platform's so important, why not just nuke it? The nests are burrowed deep into the superstructure. Surface detonations won't do it. We'd need to land a strike force on the platform and take it apart piece by piece. It's your call, Reyna. We have a choice. Hey, how are ya? Noxus Flack here, and welcome to another StarCraft II The Wings of Liberty campaign video. We managed to get through the first major part of the campaign, and we are at the end. The Gates of Hell was our last mission, and we are no longer on the battlecruiser. We are now, as you will see when the loading is done, on the battlefield before we check that out and while this is loading don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment below we've already seen that video last time leave me a comment below which is your favorite overworld do you prefer uh the spaceship or do you prefer this i mean check it out look at this <laughs> anyway so we're gonna talk to warfield now how are you holding up general <sighs> Damn poison. I told those pansy ass medics to lop off my arm so I could get back to the front. Even so, I'm in pretty bad shape. I've decided to hand over all command to you. I understand. I know that ain't easy for you. Easy? <laughs> Son, I'm getting off easy compared to what you got ahead of you. To reach the main hive, you'll have to choose between taking out their ground reinforcements or their air support. There ain't time for both. Don't worry, General. I'll deal with the Zerg. First chance you get, head back to the ship and get patched up. That's an order. All right, so we have full control, and there's going to be a choice in our future. Lock and load, Jimmy boy. These plastic critters just keep coming. What we got here is the biggest turkey shoot in the galaxy. Hate to spoil all your fun, Tigers, but we got to start pushing toward the primary high cluster Prano. That's a tall order. Them nidus worms on the ground and that swarm of flies overhead. We ain't in no position to push against anything. You're always an inspiration, Tychus. And there he goes. Now let's watch the news. This is Kate Lockwell reporting live for UNN. Stunning news tonight as massive numbers of Zerg began pulling back to their main hive on the planet Char. While they aren't giving up the worlds they've conquered, most of the aliens appear to be massing near the fiery planet. What can it mean, Kate? We really don't know, Donnie. We'll keep you posted with any further developments. I know what it means. And it ain't good. Alright, so the Zerg get reinforcements. Here we have the mercenaries. Unfortunately, can't get the Jackson's Revenge. Very upset about that. We still have access to research. And we still have access to the armory, but we're not actually in those buildings anymore, so let's check out the missions. We've secured our landing zone thanks to you, Commander. General Warfield believes an attack on the primary hive is suicide under current conditions. A diversionary attack to cripple part of the Zerg defenses will give us the opportunity we need. All right, into the belly of the beast, sabotage the Zerg defense. You know, I've been thinking scares me more than the Zerg. We're gonna have to take out those Nidus worms before we can make a move on the main hive. Them Zerg bursting up under us wherever they please ain't exactly conducive to our health and well-being. Well, placing charges at the right spots in their Nidus network could flood the whole system with lava. What's your take, General? It's dangerous, but it could work. Bigger problems steal their flyers. Even if we could move our units forward, we can't provide adequate air cover while the skies are contested. Any suggestions? Intel shows 80% of the Zerg flyers nest on an infested platform hanging in low orbit. If we take that down, we'll own the air. Hell, if this platform's so important, why not just nuke it? The nests are burrowed deep into the superstructure. Surface detonations won't do it. We'd need to land a strike force on the platform and take it apart piece by piece. It's your call, Raina. We have a choice. And um, 
I really hate dealing with Rude Lord, so we're gonna attack the platform. We can deal with the Nidus worms when they surface, but there ain't no way we can advance without air support. We gotta take that platform down. We came all the way down here just to head back into space. I only wish I could go with you. Give them hell, Rain. The Zerg flyers are using this old orbital platform as their base of operations. It's actually made up of several smaller platforms, tethered together in geostationary orbit. The nests are too deep inside to destroy with a bombardment, but clearing the whole thing with ground forces would be costly. Adjutant, what's keeping that thing in orbit? Has it got power? Affirmative. Thermal readings indicate intense heat coming from the platforms. Core temperatures are kept stable by a series of coolant towers, still operational despite the Zerg infestation. Perfect. There's your answer, General. We get on board and destroy the coolant towers in each section. The reactors will go critical and take care of the Zerg for us. Excellent plan. You missed your calling, Rainer. You would have made an outstanding staff officer. I reckon I'm right where I'm meant to be, General. Now let's get saddled up and hit that platform. Kerrigan won't be giving us a second chance. Why can't we nuke those cooling towers, though? Just asking. Does anyone, anyone let me know in the comments below, why can't we just nuke the cooling platforms? It seems like those are, you know, susceptible. Alright, here we go. Huh? Sir, I'm scanning to get a positive fix on all the towers. All right. Got it. I'll mark the tower coordinates on your map. Damn, Jimmy. This whole place is writhing. Once we blow those coolant towers, it won't matter. The platforms will burn up and kill everything on them. SCV ready. I think I'm gonna go there. You're the boss. By the numbers, boy. Add on. Complete. Been waiting on you. Please state the nature of your medic. SCV ready. We are working on it, okay? There we go. Upgrade complete. The bony's down, he's movement throughout the base. SCV 
TV ready. Looks like there's no time constraint here. So I am getting defense and Additional economy up and running. Base. Our SCV is under attack. Yep, SCV ready. There you go. Yes, sir. We hear you. Insta drop. Insta drop. Five on the left entrance, control group six on the south entrance. I think there's a certain assumption here that I'm taking that SCB base and holding ready. it. Armed and ready. Oh, this one looks a little easier to take. We're taking that one. You gonna give me orders? What's going on? I need an armory. Yeah. And then when you're done with that. Gotcha. Yep. Alright, so what's past this? So this looks like a pretty good second base. So I think that's where my next attack's going to be. You want a piece of me, boy? Protecting anti-air, which is going to be very useful. There's still a certain element of, like, I don't really understand if they're going to come around the back or something, so we're, we're scared. We're scared! Get scared! Boom! 
Hey, baby. Very nice. You gonna give me orders? We hear you. Yep. Pretty soon we're gonna go south. We do need more soldiers, though. This better be good. And I want them to be higher level, so we're working on that. And the siege breakers will be helpful. When the time comes. What's our target? Upgrade complete. All right, there's that, and then come on over yep. here. Upgrade complete. Base is under attack. The doctor okay. is in. Second batch of war pigs, we go. I think that's the plan. Need some triage? Been waiting on you. Come on, miners. There we go. Go, go, go! start running out of resources here and I'm gonna be happy that I spent it on researches the and the force hopefully that'll get us more resources but also the supply which is a pretty heavy mineral mask Front. I'm already sorry, man. There's nothing to do. Stop and fire! Upgrade up. complete. Mineral field depleted. Yep. Sit tight. You want a piece of me, boy? 
Big job. Oh, you have enough money to build me another base, so do it. Will do. What's going on? Depleted. Huh? We hear you. Go ahead. Go, go, go. Depleted. A lot of stuff going on here, folks. Stay in the rear with the gear. Good job, huh? Bad news. Who wants Bring him down. Field depleted. Yes, I know. Ah, you scared me. What's going on? Upgrade complete. By the numbers, boys. Huh? Go ahead. Gangway coming through. Base is on. Entrances. According to the sensors, they're chock full of mutilisks. Well, I'm standing right next to it. The reactor is melting down. Move out. No. Get out of there, sir. Your field depleted. Ten four. A second. I wonder what that looks like. It's getting ready to blow. There she goes. Get clear. So we can still walk on it. Okay. All right. Enough minerals. Bad news. Woo -hoo. Overtime. In the rear with the gear. I'm picking up signs of heavy air defenses on that platform.
Defenses on that platform, sir. Are you trying to trying to say something? Trying to tell me which one to do? Upgrade complete. Yeah, it looks like we walked the land way. Complete. You gonna give me orders? That's a negatory. It's blocked. It's not blocked. You're stuck. I'm going. The other boss. Mineral field depleted. Go ahead. Who wants some? This better be good. Sure thing. All right, let's start heading you, getting you out of there. Huh? We got three of you. Yeah, yeah. In the rear with the gear. By the numbers, boys. Ready for dust off. I've been waiting on you. You gonna give me orders? Big job, huh? We here. What's going on? At the moment, we're just taking this base to take uh, the resources away from them, but there is a chance that we're going to uh, take it later. Vespine Geyser exhausted.
did great. Come on down there. The doctor is in. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Got some extra resources. We are getting awfully close to that supply cap. I think that'll be it. Take out the platform that has mostly air defense. That's fine. Of course. What's up? Why not? You lost a man. Vespian Geyser exhausted. We're getting out of there. Let's go a little faster. Come on. We could use some help here. I know, but we're running. Roger that. Life flight's here. Got a feeling we are out. And then one of you could just be just, you know, a guy we leave around. Alright, this bad boy's blowing up. That should about do it. Look at that. What is that? Largest on record. Oh, okay. Damn. That's all we need. We better take that thing down, or it's gonna cause some havoc. Largest Zerg structure on record. Ready to blunder. Unacceptable command. We are at maximum supply. Made for Yes, Commander. You gonna give me orders? It's called a Leviathan. Its rank is monstrosity. That's good. By the numbers, boys. Sure thing. Outstanding. Orders received. See, I can. Looking forward to it. Why not? Oh, that's good. That's fine. What? Maya Stasis. Oh, we're doing some damage. Tunnel 
Love the nuclear symbol. Yeah, so any second. <laughs> any second. Good job on taking out those towers. the sky. That was a fun one. Now they will not have air support in the next mission, and that's pretty important.
to see you on your feet, General. <laughs> well, we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> I brought you boys a present. Naga artifacts been assembled. I hope to God it does what we think it does. Damn straight. Betting our asses on some alien piece of crap don't sit right with me. I hear you, Tychus. But if I was banking everything on that, I'd be quit already. Because here we are in the mouth of hell. And we made it this far by leaning on each other. <laughs> Whether it's blind luck or damn fool courage, in all my years, I've never seen anything like what you two jokers have pulled off. That thing may be the key to stopping the Queen of Blades. But it's our sweat and blood that'll make it happen. After everything we've been through, past all the fire and fueling, the one thing I know is that we can count on each other to get the job done. Or die trying, if that's what it takes. Some things are just worth fighting for. That was pretty cool. All right. They don't have air support for the next mission, but you're going to need to tune in tomorrow to see what exactly that is. This has been Noxus Flack. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.